Inspired by the name of the last pub standing, this video looks at numerous former pubs on King Street and tells some of their stories. 1500 years ago, King Street was a footpath between a cliff and the River Wensum, which led to the Anglo-Saxon settlements which formed the beginning of Norwich. We're going to begin and end our pub crawl here with the last pub standing, or Nag's Head as it had previously been known, going down the left hand side of King Street, coming back on the right and finishing with the cock that you can see here on the right of the picture. On the corner of King Street and Rose Lane was the Rose Tavern, which probably gave its name to Rose Lane as it dated from the 17th century, closing in 1911. As we go into this part of King Street, our first stop is at number 57, the Boiler Makers. It closed in 1928 and became a butcher's and was sited in this location. On the site of what is now the King Centre and previously the Lads Club was the Bird in Hand until it closed in 1898. The Lath Renders Arms was in this location at number 91 King Street from 1868 until closure in 1920. On the corner of St Anne's Lane and King Street, where those blue boards advertise city living, was the cellar house from 1810 until destroyed in World War II. It was once home to the 18 Stone Club, with membership conditional upon minimum weight. The old barge was part of what is now Dragon Hall, the building dating from 1430. It was damaged during the Second World War before eventually closing as a pub in 1969, after which it was purchased by the council and restored. In 2015 it became a national centre for writing and has been restored and expanded. The Green Man at 131 King Street, seen here in 1936, had existed from 1760 until 1921 is now part of John Atting's motor engineer business. Next up is the Music House built in the 12th century as a private dwelling. It's believed to be the oldest surviving house in Norwich. It was a pub from 1760 until 1932 and this 1924 drawing was done by the son of the licensees. The undercroft to the building is Journey's Bar. The Rainbow, where Wensum Sports Centre is now located, closed in 1959, but in the 1800s had a metal ring in one corner for the restraint of a performing bear. The Steam Packet, along with Horse Packet and Steam Barge, were earlier names for the ferry boat. That pub has been shown in various stages of decay in earlier Lost Norwich videos, so let's now remember the ferry boat in its prime. This is Half Moon Yard, a name recalled in the new housing now on the site. Oddly, the Half Moon pub was across the road, as we shall see on the return journey. Featuring a monster chessboard in the 1970s, this was the Kingsway on the left-hand corner of Carrow Road, which closed in 2001. On the opposite corner was the Jolly Molsters, which had closed some 20 years earlier. Next door, coke making ovens were built into the city walls, explaining the name of the pub next to the walls, the cinder ovens, seen here in a painting by Henry Ninham. Standing in the middle of the road and quickly snapping my camera, I can create the same location today. Our pub crawl has now reached its halfway stage. We've reached the end of King Street, so we can now turn around and return on the opposite side of the road. From 1839 to 1907, this was the Golden Lion at 280 King Street. In front of the city wall was Cinder Ovens Row, a terrace of houses named after the ovens and pub on the other side of the road. In the immediate foreground was another pub, the British Queen, but only from 1858 to 1890, and that was roughly where that bush is on the site of Rotary House. This is the building on the site of the Half Moon pub, though this building would have come after the pub, which had closed by 1886, with the license transferring to the Cricketers Arms at Lakenham. 
Before King Street was bypassed by Rouen Road, it was effectively a straight line at this point, where we find the Keel and Werry, seen here just before its demolition in 1964. Our next stop is at the Ship, which closed in 1969 and was then converted into two dwellings. The lintel above the door says Prince's Inn and was possibly retrieved from an inn of that name in Tombland, which had dated from 1324. This was its final darts team, which seems to have had some degree of success. On the corner of Horns Lane, now Music House Lane, was the Waterman, where much excitement occurred in 1909 when William Grimes led his donkey into the bar. They were both ejected, but he returned and put his whip through the windows. A little further up is number 120, the site of the Elephant and Castle. The Winkle Club, which may have been connected to Winkle's Row elsewhere on King Street, met here in the 1930s. The pub moved to this location in 1897, having previously been opposite the end of St Anne's Lane. This is Steam Packet House, the site of one of three steam packets on King Street. The plaque refers to 26 pubs on King Street, but I believe this video has found 30. Closed in 1873, this is the site of the Raven in 1935 and today. I've struggled a bit to identify the White Swan. Logically it seems it should be the yellow building as it's surrounded by Swan Yard. However, I'm confident it was actually the building to the north, shown here as the Swan Restaurant and Snack Bar. And here is the 2021 view. Next door, this is the Nelson's Monument Pub at number 66, from where the landlord ran a cab service to Thorpe Station. Sadly, looking not even a shadow of its former self today. It's amazing how many pubs there used to be in such a small area. A few steps further would find the Three Tons, dating from the 18th century until 1969. This range of buildings was restored and converted in the 1980s, and this is the present view of the former Three Tons. On the Cat on Market Street corner was the Builder's Arms from 1867 to 1968, closing on what was described as economical grounds. It became a bookshop and subsequently the Fine Watch Club. Into the final stretch of our pub crawl, we have the Royal Oak and then back at where we began with the Cock. Just one more to see on the far corner of King Street was the Bank Stores renamed the Beaufort in 1898, closing in 1969. 